Hi, my name is Amir Shakib. I'm with 2MCT TV Tech Support. Today I'm going to explain to you how to find your uh, your, pri uh, your DHCP for or your network for your other media. If you're using a PC base, uh, you don't have to worry about changing the static. You don't have to worry about changing that the DHCP uh, because everything is taken care of by your computer. If you want to make your if you make your system static, what you need to do is make your computer static. And if you want to make your system DHCP, you have to make your computer DHCP. But if you have a standalone DVR, and these are very similar, so just follow me, and I will explain to you. The first thing you need to do is make sure your network tab right here is not on, or it's not purple like it is right now. Go ahead and uh, deselect that. It will ask you to type in your default password. Go ahead and do that. Uh, the default password that the system comes in with is admin. Go ahead and head to setup and type in admin or default password and head to network if you have a standalone DVR over here it's gonna say setup here it says detail uh, yours will say setup by pressing that it will pop up a new screen that will say uh, obtain automatic IP address or you know manually input it one of those two options if you do manual static if you say obtain automatic IP address it will pull up a DHCP connection from your router because this computer is dependent on the s uh, our server the computer system I will explain to you how to change that on my next video but for now I would leave it I will leave all the settings the same the only thing I will write down is port 80 for the HTTP port uh, the communication port the council port 5550 which you will need to log in for your remote console and the data port which is 5555. You need to open those three ports for your router. The 5555, you leave that in the background. You don't have to, you don't have to uh, worry about using that on your remote console because everything will be running in the background. But it's the most important one that you need to have that open. And that's how you check your network setting. On my next video, again, I'm going to explain how to check your computer, how to change that from DHCP to static. So now, Press OK to get out and press OK. And thank you for watching our video.